Hi guys, my name is Tony. I've got this uh, Crossroads Sunset Trail 212 RB here. Uh, we picked it up August of last year, so it's uh, not quite nine months old yet. And we wanted to get uh, better Wi-Fi and cell phone reception. The unit came with the WineGuard Air 360 unit, uh, pre-wired for the WineGuard system when we picked it up from the dealer. So they told us the only thing that you needed to do beyond that was buy uh, a, a purchasely separate WineGuard router, the GW1000 gateway router, hook it up to your Air360 and boom, you've got Wi-Fi and cell phone booster coverage in addition to the Wi-Fi that's built into the WineGuard unit itself. Well, there's a little bit of a problem with that. I ran into installing it and I wanted to go over that with you guys to help you not run into the same mistakes that I ran into. So here we are back in my garage and I ran into a little problem installing the unit. This is the WineGuard Gateway 1000 uh, Wi-Fi router cell phone booster extender. What they tell you in all of the documentation is that you will either have, if, if your unit comes pre-wired from the factory with the WineGuard system, it will either have one of these little caps on the inside of your rig where you can access the antenna wires and power wire and if that's not the case, then you access it from under the dome on your uh, Air360 Plus on the outside of the rig on the roof. And that's where you would mount the router to. The problem is, I had this WineGuard Air360 degrees versus WineGuard Air360 Plus. This will not work. There is, well, I'll show you. This is what's under the dome when you take it off the rig. Nothing. Just this UHF, VHF, TV antenna. That is all that's inside this thing. So in my opinion, that was quite, quite a scam. So in addition to buying the, the Gateway 1000 router, this guy right here, I had to do the research and find out this is the actual unit I needed for this router to work. So I had to go back to the dealer, complain to them that I felt I was misled because I had the Air 360 this, and I was told now that I needed this. So now I spent another $125 for this in addition to the $250 for the router to get this thing working. So I'll show you in this video what I had to go through to get this installed. Now the Air 360 Plus which is what you need to make the router work, has this inside. The same UHF VHF TV antenna, which is connected by this wire right here down into your rig, but it also has two uh, cell phone antennas and a Wi-Fi antenna built into it. And this base right here is where you mount the WineGuard router to, the Gateway 1000. And so the missing component between this and this, in addition to these antennas, is these guys right here. These are the Wi-Fi and cell phone uh, antenna cables that you need. Without these guys, that doesn't do a thing. Okay, if you guys haven't figured this out yet by now, but I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to YouTube. I'm not a YouTuber, I'm not a blogger, I'm not an influencer. I'm a general contractor by trade and a part-time RV technician, so I'll give you as much knowledge as I can. Bear with me if all of the shots and all of the videoing is not up to speed. I certainly don't know what the heck I'm doing with editing, so I have no idea how this is going to come out, but we'll all see you together. The first thing I like to do, though, is get something down on my roof, a car piece of carpet or something to put down in the area that I'm working. And when I get up on my roof to do any kind of maintenance, I also take my shoes off. Because any pebbles or stones that you get in your boots or shoes, you know, it's, this membrane on these roofs is only about two millimeters thick. So it doesn't take much to, to penetrate these things. So I put down these cushion pads in the area that I'm working. So back in the access port for the power wire, I see that I have a whole crap ton of uh, lead that's buried inside the roof for me to get this over to here. So the next thing I'm going to do is go grab a snake 
and snake this power wire from here over to here. Bring everything up through here, and then the wine guard Air 360 Plus with the router will mount here. I've got my fish tape here. What I'm going to try to do is sneak it from this hole. Okay, and that's what I was afraid of would happen. I'm, I'm hitting a beam. I'm hitting one of the roof rafters right here, which I shouldn't be because my one, I can see through the rubber roof where this rafter is, and I can see the next one over here. I shouldn't be hitting a, a beam but that's what, certainly what it feels like. I think just by dumb luck, I was able to hit a hole in the ceiling truss that the power wire went through with the fish tape. And I can just about, I can see the insulation moving here, and I think the fish tape is through. I just have to grip, reach down there and try to grab it. There it is. So now I'm going to tape my power wire to the fish tape. Bring it through the other end, and then we should be good to go. There we go. All right, now everything is in the same cavity for us to work on getting this thing installed. All right, the next thing I'm doing here is putting another hole, enlarging this hole down a little bit further because where it comes up through the roof, it's not really in line with the hole in the base of the Air 360. So what I did is drilled my own hole here in the base and then I'm going to enlarge the existing hole in the roof to line up with that hole. Okay. That hole is enlarged now. Yeah, these two should line up. It's important to note when you're installing this, it, it is directional. So on the base of the unit itself, it'll say rear, and front, and that's how you need to install it on the rig so that your orientations match. It looks like oh, I'm pretty much lined up where I need to be. So once you get to this point, you're kind of home free. Your power wire is here. Your coaxial cable to the antenna is here. The wine guard base unit will go on top of this. The router will go on top of the base unit. You'll plug everything back up, seal it all up with your die core or whatever sealant you're using. A couple of things you're going to need for reinstalling this in terms of material. One is um, butyl tape. This is uh, this is that tape. It's kind of a gummy substance, and any any penetrations that go through the side walls, your, your laminate siding, your metal siding, or your roof, always has this on the back of it, in between whatever you're mounting and the surface that you're mounting it to. It's uh, kind of a a waterproofing membrane, and then you seal over the top of everything when you're done. So you'll need you need some of that butyl tape. You're also going to need some of this self-leveling as opposed to the Dicor non-sag. Non-sag is just the opposite. You would use non-sag on vertical applications, where you, like windows, where you don't want it to drip down over time. So sealant and butyl tape. Next thing you want to do is clean the area where the old came off, which I've already done. You want to use acetone, but you want to be careful not to get that on the surface of your roof. You'll want to just put it in the area where the adhesive is going down. So I'm going to work on that and uh, I'll take a little bit of a break from narrating while I concentrate on the work at hand here.
Okay, so this is what the final installation looks like. Here you have the WineGuard Gateway 1000 mounted to the Air 360 Plus base unit. Here is the power wire access port sealed up. Here's the base unit sealed with self-leveling Dicor sealant. cable connected to the wine garden. And here's what the completed installation should look like. And then you'll go through the programming process which is laid out pretty pretty extensively and pretty clearly in the instructions. So that's the hard part of this project done. I hope that clears up any of the problems or confusions you guys may have that were haunting me. So. If you like this video, fantastic. I'm not going to ask you to like it or hit the bell or notification or comment because I'm not making anything off it. This is purely informational for you folks out there. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Happy camping.